Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Awaken the World. We are live right now on the 11th day of the first month of 2021. Tonight, Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Om Tat Sat. I is not the doer. And of course, you are here with the still toothless tiger. You know, it. Uh, it's occurred to me that this denturist only actually shows up in Vernon once every two weeks. And it's going to be, you know, February 3rd before I get teeth that'll work, really. <laughs> I've tried my best. You know, I, I can get them comfortable, but the front ones stick way out and it's just... It's just not worth it. So, uh, oh well, what do you do, right? I mean, it just is. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to get upset. It's not worth it. First of all, as always, let me express my undying love for you, that you are exactly where you need to be, experiencing exactly what you need to be experiencing, and that even your reactions when you're not happy with them are serving you. Becoming aware of those sort of things are the day-to-day -day victories that you really have to look at as victories. You know, in the moment that you catch yourself in a negative line of thinking, you are shedding awareness on that and in that transmuting some of that back into raw potential, back into raw awareness. In other words, your awareness of what's going on in your mind boosts your own awareness. So what are we going to talk about tonight? Well, we're going to talk about something that can help you. It's, it's really, honestly, if there's a, a magic pill, and, and to me there are many magic pills, but this is one of those sort of magic pills. And that is the full understanding of Om Tat Sat. So what we're really saying when we say Om Tat Sat is that it is not my sense of self that is actually the doer. Because my sense of self is something that's been created as a response to experience. And indeed, I merely run the commentary. It's not me that makes the motions to wash the dishes. Somehow my body's intelligence, some otherly force deals with that. I mean, I can notice a spot on it and sit there and scrub at it repeatedly for a minute, but very quickly, the eye will turn that control back over to where it sits with the body's intelligence and go back to dawdling off on whatever sort of imaginative tour it's on while the dishes are being washed. Now, this may be hard to conceptualize at first because I am not saying that your sense of self, that egoic eye, doesn't have purpose and doesn't have value. It does. But it is very necessary to understand that we are simply here performing a running commentary. That which we perceive is our suffering is generated by that egoic sense of self. The suffering itself is generated through the thought and through the perceptions and the point of view that the egoic self chooses to hold one way or the other. So how do we help free ourselves? Well, you know, you can simply use that mantra. Om Tat Sat. 
A lot of people like to add Hari in front of it to add a more physical aspect to it because Om Tat Sat is a very ephemeral sort of mantra. It's speaking of things beyond the physical norm, that, that which you can grasp with your eyes and your hands. And what it's really talking about, as I said, is the idea and, and the ultimate truth that you as a manifestation of the divine are you're not the pinnacle thing you are along for the ride the manifestation of the divine is the pinnacle thing that you are and your sense of self is just something that's developed the pinnacle thing that you were, are, was born into this world and existed before that birth into the world and existed before a sense of I was developed. That little itty bitty baby that got popped out of its mother's womb or cut out, depending which way you go these days, th that is the pinnacle being. God individualized in an apparent singular manifestation. One of the one. You didn't start to exist when your sense of I developed. Your sense of I developed as a shield to your experiences that were coming in that were contrary to a lot of the things that you were being told or witnessed. That that I very quickly took over that sense of self, that egoic sense of self, and now many people think it's the one that's actually suffering, when in fact, even in physical pain, it is God itself that literally takes on our suffering. Why? Because it was always God's suffering. Apparent or otherwise, and all suffering is apparent. Pain in the body is a little bit of a different story, but even that pain belongs to the Creator. All of it does. Your energetic manifestation of a sense of self, that egoic I, is still that same God consciousness. Still that same energy. That's why that consciousness has so much power and can cause so many problems. <laughs> Puzzles, sorry. So when we are faced in life with things that we would consider difficult or we perceive that we're suffering in some way, we can remind ourselves that it is only our perception and our commentary and that point of view that's suffering. That's where the suffering is. And that indeed, no matter what you're currently actually up to, it's really God that's up to it. You, you may think you're the one in charge. You know, so many times as egoic beings, we love to think we're in control of things. That we're in charge in some way. And in truth, we're never in charge. The only thing we ever are in charge of is our egoic sense of self. Why? Because we're literally along for the journey. It is not truly you that suffers. It is not a friend that dies when they're not supposed to. It is not someone in the hospital in pain. Now, yes, there is the appearance of that. 
But I encourage you to look beyond the appearance, to see the deeper truth, that indeed it is an aspect of the divine that takes on the suffering. It is an aspect of the divine that takes on the pain. And it is an aspect of the divine that appears to pass away from this physical existence. Om Tat Sat. I am not the doer. Om Tat Sat. Much love to you this evening. Uh, it hasn't been a particularly long video tonight. Um, that wasn't really the point. The point was is to give you a valuable tool to remind you that you are not only part of the divine plan, but also riding alongside the Creator at all times, witnessing that which the Creator sees. How do you think the Creator views life through your eyes and compared to your view? Much love to you tonight as always. Namaste. We'll speak again very soon. Take good care of yourself.